Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising As Crew. My name is Lucy and today is a very exciting day because we are going to be taking a tour of this lifeboat. So Declan, one of our officers, has come to help us and he's going to be getting the lifeboat down onto deck seven so we can go inside and have a look. So here you've got zero plus 20% and minus 20%. So by law, lifeboats have to be able to be launched if the ship's listing by 20 degrees either way. At the moment, that marker is on zero because the ship is not listing. But if we were in an emergency and the ship was listing by 20 degrees, then that's how they can tell what to do. Ooh, life jackets. Come on the side. So, if you iron egg goes through there, right, and then. Oh yeah. Can I have that loose? Yeah, maybe just leave it on. Yeah. Is it what a dress? No, I don't bother. A great look. Don't bother. <laughs> Safety officer on board. Safety officer? Yep. Amazing, we're in good yep. hands then. <laughs> Let's go! Come on in! Alright, so firstly we'll go through where everyone sits. When you bring everyone in, you would want to sit them up here first. So they would sit on here and they would have their seat here. And then the second row of people are going to sit below this. So they would sit on here, and the other person's legs would be either side you. And then the same here, you see these black marks? These are bum marks, basically. So you would sit here, like this, and you would have someone's crotch right in front of you. All right, so that is where we sit. But then obviously, in a lifeboat, you have lots of life-saving equipment. So I'm going to show you where that is. All right, so in this first compartment, this is full of water. Now, there's no more water in these boxes as well. So in these packets, we have 500 ml of water. And basically, you get 500 ml of water per day. So half a litre of water per day. And basically, there's six of these for a person because the idea is we can last one week in here. So yeah, that's a lot of water, and there's a few compartments with water in, but this is just one, and this is what it looks like. Now, you're probably thinking, if everyone was sat on here, how are you gonna get to the compartments? So if the lifeboat is full, there's still gonna be a little bit of room to shuffle around. So basically, everyone would have to move up, so you can open the compartment and get to the food. Now granted, it doesn't look like there's a lot in here, but I am assured that there is enough for everyone. So, this is not gonna be the food that you find in the buffet or the restaurants. This is your food. And this is enough to last you the whole week. So you have one box per person. And I can't open it, obviously, but basically they're, they're like dry biscuits. They're high calorie dry biscuits and yeah, this has to last you the whole week. Yeah, if you're looking for a diet, a lifeboat is the right place to come to. Amount per serving, there is 271 calories. So in a tiny little biscuit, there's a lot of calories. All right, so now we are gonna have a look at the exciting bit. We're gonna have a look at the life-saving equipment that you find in a lifeboat. Okay, so once again, everyone would have to shuffle up so we can open this compartment to get to all of the goodies. So, let's open this tub first. It's harder than it looks. Alright, so in here we have 
Fishing tackle, so in every, any lifeboat, anywhere, on any ship, you are gonna have fishing tackle. And a lot of people think it's to be able to catch food, but it's actually just for entertainment. It's something to do to pass the time. Because if you are in a lifeboat for seven days, you're gonna get bored. Then as well, we have a torch and batteries in here. And then this is where all the life-saving equipment comes. So this is a smoke float, and we have two of these in here. So you would take the lid off, throw it over the side of the lifeboat uh, in the right direction of the wind, and then this is gonna sit on the surface of the sea and basically release a huge cloud of orange smoke. So if anything is sailing by or flying over, they will see this huge cloud of orange smoke and they will send help. Then we have four rockets. So you basically take the lid off this, you aim it up into the sky, and this releases a rocket uh, that goes up in the sky and once again will attract attention. And the other thing that we have is hand flares. So we have six of these hand flares. So again, you would take the top off the hand flare and someone would stand out the top of the lifeboat and wave this around and it would attract attention. And this burns for about a minute. The other thing that we have in here is a can opener. So if anyone manages to smuggle some cans of food from a restaurant before they get on the lifeboat, you have a can opener so you can obviously open those cans of food. So that is the small equipment. Then here we have a sea anchor. So this can be used to slow the lifeboat down or if we want to stay in a certain position. In here we also have two axes. We have, well, here's a little bit of paper with everything we have on, actually. Uh, we have rope. We have got, what's this? Ah, thermal protective aid. So if anyone goes in the water and gets cold or gets hypothermia, we will cover them in one of these so they will stay warm. And in any lifeboat, you have to have 10% of the lifeboat's capacity. And then over here, we have seasickness bags and seasickness tablets. So before you get into a lifeboat, you will be given a seasickness tablet and it is not optional, you have to have one. It's a lifeboat, it's gonna be rocking around a lot. So seasickness is very likely. So everyone has to have a seasickness tablet and then we obviously have seasickness bags in case anyone does throw up. We also have a first aid kit here, so if anyone gets into any trouble, any cuts, grazes or bigger wounds, then we have a few, I think we have three first aid kits. We also have a rope ladder in here um, and just general bits and bobs, you know, if uh, screws break or anything for the engine, we have spare parts in here. So this is where all of the life-saving equipment is. Okay, so now we've done the life-saving equipment, let's go and have a look at the driver's seat. But to get to the driver's seat, we're just going to climb on it up here. This is where the designated crew member would drive the boat. You've obviously got the steering wheel here. I think I'll just let Declan explain this bit. There's quite a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah, I don't really know. Amazing. Yeah. It's a lot nicer up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you open the hatch up a little. Yeah, you get a bit There's of some air fresh air flowing, yeah. yeah. So we have two engines, yeah. port and starboard. Uh, VHF for external communications, so communicating with other ships or Coast Guard or also between the lifeboats ourselves. Yeah. Uh, internal PA system for mm -hmm. making announcements for the leader mm -hmm. to keep everyone uh, up to date. And then we got, so steering, fuel, fuel gauges. This is the release hook, so when we swing out and lower the lifeboat, uh, when we come in the water, this little indication here, it's called a hydrostatic release. Mm -hmm. So that'll come, that's a safety device. Mm -hmm. So that will move from the green to the red, uh, uh, red color. And only when it moves red, we can release the hook. So there's a safety pin here. There's two more safety pins on the actual hooks themselves. So once they're removed and the boat's actually floating, is the only when we can release the, release the hooks from the, to get away from the ship. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Other things, just ventilation, window wipers, um, and then just power for this equipment. Search ah, and okay. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so then we have 
the engine. We actually have two engines, one on either side, but Declan took the top off for us so we could actually see what the engine looks like. There are fire extinguishers just above us, but there's also two fire extinguishers in there, but they are plumbed directly into the engine. So if the engine was uh, to catch fire, because that realistically is the only thing that's gonna catch fire, then you can just open that hatch Take the pin out of the fire extinguisher, press release, and it will um, do that straight into the container so it wouldn't like fog the whole area up. And we also have one engineer in every life force. Okay. So, so if anything goes wrong. If anything goes wrong, that's their responsibility in, a, in an emergency. Okay. So there's two batteries. Well, there's four batteries. Actually. Batteries. Yeah. And what do the batteries power? So the, the batteries engine. power the engine, yeah. The engine. And the equipment, like the ele electrical equipment. The electric, okay. Yeah, so there's four batteries, two for the port side engine, two for the starboard side engine. So up here we have the lights, so obviously at night time um, it's not going to be completely pitch black. And then over here we have a little chart of how the lifeboat looks and where everyone can be seated. So as you can see here, like this is how the lifeboat would look if we just seated everyone on the top, uh, the top row. But of course it's going to be full. And this is how many bums need to fit on all of the seats. So you've got the red ones here, and that's mandatory for crew member. And then the yellow right here next to the hatches is recommended for crew members um, because there will be 14 crew members that are seated in here amongst the passengers. Of course, it's not just gonna be the driver. You need 14 crew members to get the stuff out of the hatches. Also, if there's any problems with the sailors, you do need crew members to be able to aid them. You couldn't just put 300 and odd sailors in here on their own. It would just be absolute chaos. Um, so yeah, there will be 14 crew members in here with the sailors. All right, guys, so that was the tour of the lifeboat. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, please press the like and subscribe. And if you have any questions that I didn't answer, then please leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. But I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day, whatever you decide to do. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.